Meanwhile, tonight, newly released documents reveal just how much wealth is in the White House. ABC Action News anchor Paul Legron is following the money all the way to the Oval Office, Paul. Yeah, and it's a money trail worth billions of dollars, guys. Check this out. This is President Donald Trump's financial disclosure report. It's about 110 pages long. This is Vice President Trump's financial disclosure report. In contrast, about 10 pages long. And tonight, all the president's men and women are on full financial display. And the person who has the biggest potential conflict of interest is not who you think. Inside Mar-a-Lago, the president's granddaughter singing to the president of China. And that day, the Chinese government gave Ivanka Trump's clothing company trademark approval to sell her products to a country of more than 1.3 billion people. A dinner and a deal, raising fresh questions about conflicts of interest inside the White House. And now, OpenSecrets.org has organized a document dump of recent financial disclosure reports of President Trump and his cabinet, detailing just how much money they've made and where their money is now. President Trump's report details hundreds of millions of dollars in financial holdings all over the world, which the president has handed over to his sons. <laughs> Secretary of State Rex Tillerson's reported assets include financial stakes in companies that directly involve China, Korea, and Russia, all of which he is divested. <laughs> but the most far-reaching potential conflict of interest is that of Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross. It's his job to shape trade policy. However, the Center for Public Integrity reports that Ross is keeping his stake in a company called Diamond S Shipping, one of the world's largest operators of tanker vessels that deliver products all over the globe, including China, Russia, and at least one time in 2014, it unloaded in Iran. And today, you know, I looked over thousands of pages of documents and some other interesting disclosures. Sean Spicer, the press secretary, he has four home mortgages, including a couple of rental properties. Vice President Pence has seven student loans for his three children. And Steve Bannon once held a financial stake at a Tallahassee-based political website.